Hello Kellys, it's Mary. So this tutorial is going to be on how to do Bantu knots or Chinese bumps as they're known in various places around the world. So if you'd like to see my method for doing this style then stay tuned. First of all to smooth my hair I begin with the Wave Whip Curling Mousse by Cantu and I don't usually use a mousse in my hair to define my curls or to do anything but this really helps to smooth my hair down and to control it for when I do the knots. And next I move on to using the Edge Stay Gel, also by Cantu. Now again, I don't usually use edge control because having really slicked edges is not my main priority in life. But for this particular style, especially because it's gonna be at the front of my hair, I really do need my parts to be as clean as possible and for the front of my hair to look really, really neat. So the first thing you want to do is start off by twisting your hair. Now you can see that I move my hand down maybe about two or three centimeters away from my head. And then I just keep twisting because I need to add tension to this section. Tension is really important in creating Bantu knots with this method. Um, if you don't have enough tension, then it's gonna create knots that are too loose. So when you've created enough tension, the hair will begin to almost curl back on itself and that's the point at which you start to create the knot. So I just begin by making basically a loop with my hair and then you can see I'm using my other hand to just secure that section and to just continue to wind my hair around. Now you'll notice that I tend to twirl my hair around my finger and that's just because I want to maintain the tension. You don't have to do that but I like my knots to be quite tight so I don't want them to come loose um, and that's the reason for the twirling around my finger. But essentially I just continue to um, loop my hair around the base of the knot and this creates more of an elongated shape and then when I get towards the, the last three or four loops I just loop it around really simply and that is my Bantu knot complete. So the last section that I showed you was slowed down, but this is just showing you how it goes at my normal speed. So you'll notice that again, I've just made my hair into a tight coil and then when it starts to loop back on itself, that's when I begin to create a knot. And again, I'm just tying or looping, shall I say, the hair around the base of the knot and to just continue until it makes the usual Bantu knot shape. Now, for this side, I've actually began to twirl my hair in the opposite direction. To be completely honest, it doesn't matter which way you go. The only thing I'd advise is that whichever hand is the main hand that you're gonna be using, you wanna twirl it in the direction that is comfortable for that hand. Now, most times using this method, my Bantu knots or Chinese bumps, they stay in place um, with no problems because of the tension that I create when I'm twisting them. But if you have some that come out, I'm gonna show you a little bit later on how to take care of that. And another thing I also wanted to note is that this is not the only way of creating Bantu knots. Um, some people create a twist first and then create the knot afterwards an actual two strand twist. So I'm gonna leave a link um, just in the iCards above the video, you'll see it popping up now, to another video with another method that you might find useful if you find this method a little bit tricky. So of all the sections at the front of my head, this section is the thickest, should I say the most dense section. This section has the most hair in it. And this is the reason why at the end of this, it keeps slipping out. Um, now I've used one of these tiny hair bands, the ones that you can buy from a hair shop or beauty supply store. They usually come in packs of a hundred. And I'll leave a link in the description box below to where you can buy some of these if you can't find them in your local hair shop. 
but yes I use one of these tiny hairbands and I just literally hold it and then I slip it over the top once twice maximum and there it's held in place and it's not going to move so you can see here that I have created this Bantu crown style this is not my idea I've seen it all over Instagram and multiple YouTube tutorials um, but I just decided that I was going to try this style for this weekend it is the Afro hair and beauty show in London so if you saw me you would have seen me wearing this hairstyle so I'm just using a small amount of the edge stay gel just to make sure that my hairline is exactly in place and these are the completed Bantu knots this Bantu crown is a great idea to spice up an everyday style for example here I have used it to add a little bit of extra flair to this really ultra defined wash and go style and if you're wondering what products I use to create this major definition on my hair then stay tuned for another video it's coming soon so Kelly's that's the end of the tutorial please comment below and let me know if you found this tutorial helpful if you have tried Bantu knots before if you are a newbie and you've tried this let me know how it goes feel free to hit the like button above if you like this video and to hit the red subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this one wishing you health happiness and beautiful hair i'll see you soon again on the curly closet take care bye <laughs>